All right, well, we're looking at the new you for 2022. So let's talk about something very important, reputation. According to Harvard Business Review and Forbes Magazine, most corporate executives worry about their company's reputation as much as they worry about their bottom line profits. Why is that? Your company's reputation, your brand, is what attracts a talented employees, lets you charge top dollar, and it brings you customers. Let's illustrate this. Recently, our family minivan just fell apart. It straight came apart like a Mr. Potato Head toy. Both bumpers, I kid you not, were literally being held on with duct tape. We needed a new car. Also, uh, my wife, let's take this for example. She wants to make some changes to the interior of our house. She has some projects lined up for me and I'm very okay with that. Why? Because she's probably watching these videos. But also, I've kind of been needing a new drill and I have a gift card to Lowe's. Could work out, right? Moreover, I also like to take my wife out on date nights. Now, whether it's a new car, a new drill, or a new restaurant, don't we all research the various companies we're going to visit? I mean, we get on Yelp, we watch a YouTube review, or we talk to our friends to learn about a product or a dealership or a restaurant's menu or happy hour deals, right? Here's what we're doing. We're learning that company's reputation and that reputation influences whether or not we become customers. Now, as fascinating as this is, here's what runs deeper. Our personal reputation. We all care about our track record before other people, right? Fact, let me tell you a story. My grandpa once had his eye on a special lady and he wanted to date her. Cute, right? This was the late 1940s, so he did what you did then out in the farmlands of Georgia. Go visit with her family on the front porch in hopes of getting a date with her. Well, eventually, Grandpa got his chance. He takes this lady out on a date, and early into the date, he ran into a minor problem. He needed gas. Not a big deal, right? Well, just pulls over and fills up on gas. But then his minor problem turned into a bigger problem. You see, Grandpa didn't have his wallet. What's Grandpa going to do? Well, the gas station owner looked at Grandpa and said, what was your name again? James Leo Deal. Wait, you one of Reamer Deal's sons? Yes, sir. Apparently, the owner had heard of my great-grandfather. He knew of his outstanding reputation. The man looked at my grandpa and saw another person's actions and records. He saw another person's reputation. That reputation covered grandpa and he was free to go. The owner knew he'd get his money and he did. Now grandpa, as you can imagine, he got the girl and yes, that lady became my grandmother. Now, admittedly, they did have to run off to get married, but I'm certain grandpa made sure there was gas in the car this time. What about you? What is your reputation? What is the public record of all your actions and words before other people? Is this part of what you would want as a new you? How about this? What if you stood before God? What would your real record be? We can hide our unsavory parts before other people, but we cannot fool God. I mean, would God really turn a blind eye to our unsavory side and only look at our good side? I mean, if he ignored our dark side and just forgave it blindly, wouldn't that make God a pushover? If he really does care about good and evil, doesn't he really have to address those other parts of our life? So when you stand before God's throne, will you need a new reputation? Well, good news. This is exactly what Jesus has done. You see, Jesus' record was perfect. His private and public reputation was spotless. And more importantly, it pleased God. When we see ourselves like my grandpa, in need of help, but our only hope is another person's reputation, we turn in faith and look to Jesus. And when we do, Jesus gives us his perfect record. But when we have faith in Jesus, another thing happens. Jesus takes that, that undesirable part of our life, you know, the one that would give us a bad reputation, he takes that off of you and me and takes it to the cross. 
That part of us before God is nailed to the cross, punished there, and remembered no more. And now, when you stand before God's throne, He sees Jesus' record, His reputation. He doesn't see the, uh, the unattractive parts of our life that we try to keep others from seeing. He doesn't hold those former actions, words, or desires against you. In effect, God sees a new you. And if God doesn't hold that against you, you don't have to hold it against yourself either. That's powerful. The Bible puts it this way. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We call this justification by faith, and it opens the door for you to have a new reputation, all part of a new you.